You're watching CES Live, powered by Ustream.tv, the most powerful way to stream live video. And by Utech, makers of the TriCaster family of broadcast and streaming systems. And now, CES Live. Hey everyone, I'm Rene Ritchie, I am back. Your petitions did not succeed in getting me ejected, so you are stuck with me for another day. But I've got a great new co-host, it's Sean from Tom's Guide. How are you, Sean? Howdy, I'm doing fantastic. All right, so. I'm well, glad you're here. You're glad I'm, I'm glad here. you're here, so uh, far. So this is different, yesterday was all about wearables, today we're talking about 4K TVs, have you heard of those? Yes, and you cannot wear a 4K TV, not yet. I want to, anyway. I want to wear it, so <laughs> if I got a strong enough chain, I feel like I could pull it off. <laughs> so it will work for Flavy Flav, maybe. It, yeah, it's just, yeah. it's so many pixels. Uh, <laughs> and we have a tremendous guest to uh, kick it off with. We have Mark joining us from Sharp. How are you, Mark? I'm great, how are you guys? Awesome. So Sharp has always been, I don't know the right way of saying this, but like when everyone else did three colors, you did like, wow, we're going to put a fourth in that. You've always That's seemed right. to be doing something really cool, but something uniquely Sharp. Well, and uh, Sharp is the company that first commercialized uh, LCD displays, so we know something about them. <laughs> <laughs> You're familiar with the matter. <laughs> We've been doing it for a long, long time. <laughs> these kids today, these upstarts, they yeah, you know yeah. LCD. You said you were, we're not going to talk about my age. So. <laughs> <laughs> Back when we had one, one, one <laughs> sub-pixel. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was called green. Yeah, uh, yeah. so we're launching at the show uh, a brand new lineup of uh, 4K television sets. It's four times as many models as we had last year. But some of the most exciting things we're, we're launching or, and demonstrating is even beyond 4K resolution. And uh, you mentioned the fourth sub-pixel, we yes. call it Quatron. Yes. Red, yellow, green, blue, or yeah, green, red, RGB, and yellow. Uh, so we're using that panel on a beyond 4K set. All right, so when you say, when you say 4K, I mean, 4K sounds like every year at CES, 4K is the big thing, but it sounds like that's actually becoming a thing and it's yeah. still not enough for you. You want like eight, 16, how many Ks can we fit in here? Well, and part of that, what's driving that is, uh, in fact, the NHK recently did uh, research with consumers. That's the Japanese research? It's Institute? a Japanese uh, broadcaster, in okay. the, the, the national broadcaster. And uh, they had 8K images up against real objects. <laughs> and people could not tell the difference between 8K and a reality. So the more you can drive wow. toward reality, uh, the better the experience for the customer. So that's serious reality TV. That's there. serious reality I've TV. Joked, like, yeah. I got a 5K computer over the holidays and it looks better than my real life. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's, you know, I don't know, we'll have to talk about that. <laughs> you know, I have to say, I did, I did see the, um, the 8K demo that you have yesterday. And I, I was pretty amazed. I mean, there was probably still a nose print from me on the screen <laughs> because I put my face as close as I could, and there were no pixels. You cannot see the pixels. There, no, it was it was not it was not. I mean, and we're at all. we're actually replicating that experience or very close to that experience with this beyond 4K uh, technology. Now, I had a conversation with some of your folks over mm. many hours trying to figure it out. Can you tell us in 10 seconds what for beyond 4K does? <laughs> <laughs> well, what we do is we use that fourth uh, sub-pixel, the yellow sub-pixel, okay. so and then soft, we're able to control separately the top and the bottom of the pixels. Okay. So through software, we can divide the pixels in half, and we can go from 24 million sub-pixels on a standard 4K television to 66 million sub-pixels on the Beyond 4K TV. Okay, so divided by four, we're going from how many? 24 up to 66. Wow. Million. Wow. So like, I, I'm pretending to be a non-CES person for a minute, and I'm just <laughs> hearing these numbers, and I asked you before the show, what's the density getting on these, and you told me I couldn't count that high. <laughs> so if I'm sitting there, I'm trying to tell my mom she has to get with the current generation of TV, what's in it for her? What's the pitch I give her? It, it's that ultimate experience. It's all the details that uh, come out when you have the resolution, the color, and the contrast that begin to mimic real real life. And, and things are happening with color as well. Uh, that sort of seems to be like the sleeper news here at CES. Well, there's a number of technologies that we're mm -hmm. demonstrating in our booth. Number one is something we call Spectros, mm -hmm. which is a new type of LED bulb that uh, widens the color gamut. Okay. And then there's uh, a quantum dot demonstration I've heard of as that. well. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of buzz around quantum yeah. dot. I'm uncertain about quantum dots. <laughs> Can you explain <laughs> them to me? <laughs> that was my poor attempt at a, at a quantum physics joke. Thank you, Heisenberg. <laughs> you Thank you very much, Heisenberg. <laughs> and then uh, the 8K set we're showing is yeah. the next generation of color technology. It actually has separate red, green, and blue 
LED bulbs. Okay. So it goes beyond. So for color gamut, if people aren't familiar with that, ah. it, your, your eye can see way more colors than typically can be displayed on a monitor, right? And you're, That's you're saying, haha, wait a minute, we're going to expand what we can show you on a display. Expand and uh, deepen the color experience as well. So uh, reds, I think magentas have traditionally been harder on displays Very to show difficult. accurately. The Quantum right. Dot does a great yeah. job, as does our Spectros on the reds and so the you, whites especially. You get better reds, you get better, it, it looks like a more lifelike picture. Yes. At, uh, actually, at our press conference, we had uh, Wally Pfister, mm -hmm. if you know him, he's yeah, uh, absolutely award-winning uh, cinematographer yeah. and director, Inception, Batman, et cetera. And he put it in a very simple way, why you want more resolution. And what he said was, it's like food. You know, you can have basic food and it tastes pretty good, but when you start seasoning it with, you know, great uh, extra taste, or in our case, more detail, the experience is just that much better. Our chat room is asking, and we get this question a lot, is this overkill? And I think every time you hear about a new technology, you think it's overkill until you see it. Exactly, yeah. You know, it, when you look at the demo, you start seeing like people way off in the exactly. distance or something's going on in the building that you couldn't see before. And it's like that analogy with the food. You know, you didn't know what you were missing until it was there. Sometimes you don't even know exactly what you're seeing, but it, it adds to the experience. So. I've seen some great videos where it's like from the top of a skyscraper overlooking an entire city, and then when you, when you peek into it, you actually see people, Miles not dots, you see like yeah. little legs and like Miles little away, arms but you can see moving them, yeah. around, yeah. yeah. So that just adds to the experience. So the right. elephant in the room still, and whenever we tell somebody about stuff, they go, oh, yes, but what about content? When can I download it or when can I buy it to take advantage of those screens? Well, is that a thorn in your side every year? Well, I think 4K content is pretty coming pretty quickly. You've got uh, companies like Netflix and Amazon, DirecTV and others that are beginning to stream 4K content. And our new Beyond 4K platform will upscale that content and uh, give you those 66 million subpixels. So what, what, do, what's, what do I get from upscaling? I mean, you're starting with you know, HD and now all of a sudden it's magically 4K. Mm -hmm. I mean, am I really getting... Are you getting every one of 4K? your K's worth? Yeah, exactly. Well, you're filling up every pixel and <laughs> the, uh, <laughs> the algorithm is uh, you know, doing its best to upscale that to the higher res and you will see the difference. So there's going to be more detail. Someone who looks maybe blocky in the background Absolutely. is going to look smoother. Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. Wow. So what is your favorite part about 4K or beyond 4K? What gets you excited about it? Uh, again, it's the detail, it's the color, it's the experience. You want to see if that fortune cookie that he's reading, reflected yeah, in his glasses, is actually what the actor's looking at. Thank you, that's a great, that's, <laughs> I'm going to use that, that's great. Well, I think that's one of the things is, there's, you remember that old joke where you could see the watch on the guy's wrist in the ancient Egypt movie? And now with these <laughs> things, it's so detailed, we can actually see if the stuff in the movie is really what they're telling yeah, us it I, is. Yeah, I think we're giving set directors uh, headaches. <laughs> oh, they must hate you. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I personally am glad this is not in 4K. Uh, I missed a few spots shaving today. Pretty good. The yeah, makeup right. industry is your best friend. Every time you guys up res, they get a whole new set of makeup to put out. And then for the next generation, as you already mentioned, we're demonstrating the 8K, 8K. straight 8K yeah. technology as well. So 8K, is 8K like, is that it? If like, if 8K looks like <laughs> reality, no, if it looks like reality, like, uh, is there any point well, you of know, going you, you to 16K? You never say never, maybe the next is a hologram or something, but uh, 8K is, it's like looking out a window. In fact, the Beyond 4K is the same experience. And you know, there is a company, Stream TV, I don't know if you've seen them, they're mm. actually doing, it's like a faux hologram. They're doing something crazy with subpixels also, where they're shooting the colors from different pixels out, and they meet somewhere in the air in front of you, uh -huh. and it actually looks like a hologram. Wow. It's kind of, and it's kind of amazing. That's very cool. Uh, so yeah, the whole little subpixel thing is a thing. And um, yeah, one other thing, we're, we're also showing a new technology for uh, creating a very ultra thin uh, panel, mm -hmm. and it's a uh, glass, maybe you saw it in our booth, but it's a, a newly designed glass uh, light diffuser that okay. allows us to have less than a half an inch thickness on the panel itself. So can you bend it? Uh, Are you going to bend your TVs? Rec not, recommended. not recommended, no. Not, You're not going to do what Samsung's doing? So is the, uh, no, it, probably not. Is, <laughs> the, uh, is the sell on this that as you want bigger panels, you need the higher resolution to make them look good at that size, because eventually I want my wall to be a panel, like frankly, I want my house to be a giant panel. Well, one of the things, uh, and you're, you're correct, the bigger the screen, the more you can enjoy the resolution. And it changes the paradigm of how close you should sit to the television as well. In fact, with like Beyond 4K or a 4K set, you really should be getting closer because you're not 
you're not going to see yeah, the my pixels. My 1080p, I've got to be 10 feet away from it. Yeah, this you could be five feet away <laughs> and no problem. Or three. You were you had your nose up on yeah, the screen. Yeah, yeah. Right? There's a little <laughs> print there for my nose on your screen. <laughs> is, I wondered where is that. Is that what people are telling you they want? Because every year, like we get told by the, this is going to be the next big thing. We see people come out in fancy glasses, but people often <laughs> say, "I just want my TV to look better. I just want it to. I want a better picture." That seems to be resonating a lot this year. Well, I think number one uh, request from consumers for a long time has always been around picture quality and the experience. And then the other new thing is, it's not that new at this point, but uh, being able to get content over the internet yeah. and having a robust smart platform uh, that allows the consumer to widen their, their ability to get, get content. You're saying that I'm laughing because my TV gets Netflix, my DVD player gets Netflix, my Apple <laughs> TV gets Netflix. I have like Netflix on my fridge, I think, at this you point. You only watch Netflix. <laughs> no, but it's, on, it's, it's just everywhere, it's almost ubiquitous. It's, it's, it, these content providing services have become like, like, like the internet itself. It's changing very quickly, yes. And I think you have some news also in your smart TV platform, right? Uh, thank you, yeah, we're going <laughs> to launch uh, two series of televisions with the uh, Android TV platform. Oh, okay. okay. Which opens a, a door to thousands of uh, Google Play apps. So right. Thubuddin is asking, what about things like sports and high motion? Is that something that's getting better with time as well? Yeah, motion rates are going up. There's uh, uh, technology, we call it uh, aqua, aqua motion, uh, that takes it to 240 hertz, 480 hertz. One is uh, 960 hertz uh, refresh rate. Awesome, so they can Eliminate that blur, right? They can enjoy their football games in, in pristine Christina, all, the, all, the detail, all the detail. All the detail. Yeah. They the can sound. see the person sitting in the stands, the node lead section, what they're writing on their sign. Right, it's, right. It's a bold new era. Awesome. And then we're demonstrating a bunch of other technologies around free form displays, where you can cut a panel to, let's say, the shape of a, a dashboard in a car. Nice. It's wow. It's pretty, pretty interesting. Uh, you said it's not just TVs, right? Like your display technology. We were joking before the show, it spans from a tiny little watch or phone all the way up. Yeah, we have a uh, uh, five inch up to, did you see the 120 inch as well? 120 yes. inch 4K uh, demonstration. In Bring the your own crane. Yes. <laughs> so where would you like to see panels where we don't have them yet? Do you want to, can we put them on everything? Uh, where, there where, where do you think is an exciting place to put? There will be displays in many, many different uh, locations. We even okay. showed one, uh, you probably saw it, but it's a see-through display. Mm -hmm. yeah. Where it could be a window and then at some point content would come up on so the on the window. So we're finally getting Minority Report. It's getting there, yeah. If people want to find out more about what Sharp's doing with its plays, where's the best place for them to go? SharpUSA.com. SharpUSA.com. It's Smart. all there. All right. Thank you so much for your time. That Thank you guys. Thanks a lot. I yeah. enjoyed it. Cheers. So that is everything 4K, 4K beyond 8. How many Ks do you want? Uh, I really like the 8. I have to say, the 8, it's like a retina display iPhone as big as a wall. And it really, it's different when you <laughs> see a phone. Like, when a phone is one thing, you see a television, it just blows your mind. Yeah. My mind is, boom, blown. <laughs> so we're going to be right back. Uh, this is Renee. I'm Sean. This is CES Live. Keep it locked to, where are we going to go? GeekBeatTV slash CES Live. All right.